On today's episode, Dan and Manny take on Thanksgiving. Go, 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 go. Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. Really? That's it. You went there. You went there. Okay. All right. What's up, Dan, the man from L.A.? Manny, what's up? Here we are. We're this is it. This is our only Thanksgiving episode. It's a big episode. We're taking on a major holiday. Dan and loves his themes. He what? loves the themes. <laughs> Women you knew. Women you knew. <laughs> no, I like theme episodes. It makes sense. I mean, yeah. Yeah. why not? Why yeah. Not? All right. So we're doing Thanksgiving, guys. It's lightning round. We got to get started. Dan's got his timer. You guys saw it on the desk episode, his little blue timer. <laughs> you know, I have the same timer. Oh, you have um, the same not that timer. Same co- not the same color. I got a lot of them. Flux Coffee has like a, a case of them. Get fluxed up. Yes. And mine break a lot. And I, I, I always go next door and grab for when I'm like doing like uh, keg cleaning and stuff. Like uh, that. I can use I, my phone, yeah. but there's like, eh. it's better to have that timer. The timer. You know what? There's something about it. I saw that Flux Coffee had this timer. Get fluxed up. Um, and I was like, oh, shit, there's the timer. Flux Coffee. Everybody, Flux Coffee. Get fluxed up. They have many of those timers. When I want to, when I tell you a case, there's yeah. a case. Every time mine breaks, I'm like, hey, guys. And they're like, here's another one. That's a good tangent right there. Okay, so. We're... <laughs> and that's a nostalgia test tangent. Yeah. <laughs> a timer chant tangent. So here we are at Thanksgiving. We're hitting it on a lightning round. We're going through it and putting some things to the test because, you know, w- well, first, Manny, what are your thoughts on Thanksgiving as a holiday? I love Thanksgiving as a holiday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the only, it's one holiday you don't have to bring gifts to. Um, <laughs> it's a very, yeah. I, I mean, th- there's some stress, I guess, because uh-huh. I do have to go to two different families' houses. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty decent holiday. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I do. I always like prep for like, mm, like stretchy pants. Oh, I'm always wearing yeah. stretchy pants, like Gotta Joey Lawrence. <laughs> not Joey Lawrence. Not this, Joey this Lawrence. Not. Smeal, Smeal, Jar, <laughs> <laughs> Tribbiani. Yeah. yeah, Joey Lawrence is a real person. Joey Tribbiani is a character. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, we um, I love Thanksgiving too. I think it's one of my it's one of my favorite holidays. I have a whole dream of hosting a Thanksgiving. I would love to cook a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, do you, Dan? Um, That's when you're gonna hate it. No, nah, I well maybe, but I want to you know I want to try. I love cooking, so I love you know doing a you know Thanksgiving dinner. So definitely would love to do that. But I love Thanksgiving. Love it. Everyone's right. forgetting about it. People need to stop forgetting about it. You need to give Thanksgiving its respect. Everything involved the locks. Dude, I'm pissed off. Down the block, there's already Christmas decorations uh-huh. on someone's block. Uh, I mean, someone's house. And I was like, dude. No! Like, where's your fall decoration? Where's yeah. your Thanksgiving decoration? I want the turkey. Like, mm-hmm. you're into decorating. You had Halloween all over the place. And now mm-hmm. you skipped over it. Like, yeah, like my... um. My dad used to actually put some little bit of uh, Thanksgiving or like fall decorations out. And now it's, you know, it's over. There's no more Thanksgiving. It's over. You know what I, th- I blame is laziness. And the mm-hmm. reason is, is I think people go like, oh, if I do this now, a month from now, I have to put up Christmas decorations. So what they do is they straight up go- skip the fall decorations, put the Christmas decorations up so they can leave it on longer. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm blaming it on. Yeah, absolutely. You're so- all lazy. I don't decorate at all, you out. so I don't decorate at all in the front, so I don't have to do any of that. But still, I'm pissed off. Oh, I hate man. you, like because there needs to be a Hall- uh, Halloween. There needs to be a, sp- a space. There needs to be a break. We still got Thanksgiving to get through. Like, stop it. Just stop. 
Yeah, exactly. Just, just just let us have Thanksgiving. But yes. I think there are some things about Thanksgiving that we have to have a conversation about. There's many about. things that <laughs> we need to put to the test that I know one major thing that I hate, hate, yeah. hate, 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 hate. And I hate that this actually happens every holiday because now it's a thing that happens. Well, it's not now. It's been a thing. And I really don't – I can't wait till we get that on the list. So – all right. Wait, what do you got first? What do you got first? I, I think we're going to start at the we're going to start the night before Thanksgiving. Going out the night before Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be the busiest day to go out. Amateur and, night, Friendsgiving, bruise giving, any giving you want to call it mm-hmm. or Thanksgiving Eve, if you will. Yeah, starting that night. I can tell you I have mixed mix emotions of that night. I have the same emotions that I have from that night as I do Halloween and all the other stuff now being a business owner mm. of a place that has to be open for that kind of night. Shameless plug. There you go. Boom. That's L-I-T-H-O-L-O-G-Y brewing dot com. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember like everyone like we'd all like go, we got to go out. It's Thanksgiving Eve. Let's do it. And it's just like it's crowded. It's. Like you said, it's amateur almost, night. It's, te- it's, it's almost it's, as bad as New Year's, but I think oh. you have a better time. Hmm. You definitely have a better time on Friendsgiving than New Year's. There's less expectation. Okay. There's less expectation. There's less dressing up, possibly. Um, and It's a little bit better weather. Weather. Yeah, the weather is definitely it better. It could be. It could be. Sometimes it's raining, uh, it could so be that raining. sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like it. It's Everyone's in town. Like, most people are coming home. Back mm-hmm. in the day, like, it depends on the time of the, the time, right? In high school, it was all, you know... It was nuts. Whatever. You were just hanging out. Uh, in college, it was like everyone's home for the holidays because they're seeing their parents. So you hadn't seen everybody. Those are commuted. They're seeing people that haven't, you know, from that are out of state that are home. So there was always a great time to catch up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I like it. Like I said, it is a crazy night as a as the, at the brewery. Shameless plugs. That's l i t h o l o g y brewing dot com. And I used to work it. I used to work it. So I I then hated Friendsgiving because I couldn't hang out with my friends because it was working. Um, this year I think we're doing like I think we're or we're having a happy hour with my sister down the block. We're going we're going to a restaurant that's having a happy hour. Probably call it an early night, you know. But yeah, yeah, I like it. I like friendsgiving man it's it's yeah yeah i mean it's it's an interesting thing because it's like it changes right like i remember it as like the go out get get nuts and then now it's like a little more calm i guess because like you know everyone is i guess adults um (laughs) 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 so like it's weird it's like this is one of those ones it's like when you put it to the test it's like which one you know how my is it evolves right it changes I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just come right out and just say, I think it's just nostalgic. I think it's, you know, I don't think it passes. I can go without it. I can, you know, be okay with it because, like, also when you go out, if you go out, there's like a ton of people. I guess I like have a problem with that now. I don't like being around gigantic crowds. Um, just in general, like just having to like, you know, fight my way to some place to like get a drink or something. But um, but a dinner is cool, and I think that's like totally different. So I, I'm gonna say it's a nostalgic, heavy, 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 enjoyably nostalgic day. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say it passes because it forces. It's nostalgic, definitely, because it makes you think about all the other times, and if you evolve with it. Mm. So being that, like, all right, I don't have to go to the busy place, and since people are in town. It is an excuse. It's an easier excuse to get together because, like, oh, well, you're in town because you got here a day earlier to go to your parents' house. Like, mm-hmm. oh, come by, or like, cause not. I guess you can make it work to yeah. not go to do your busy. Like you're you're imagining like amateur hour at the place. <laughs> yeah, that's that's to get my up. imagining. Like yeah. amateur hour at Zachary's. Yeah. Exactly. Or like <laughs> black sheep. Like remember black sheep usually get packed. So it's oh. like, yeah, it's a great time, but like now I'd be like, yo, why don't you just come over? Like, I'm we just should think, just go yeah. get we like let's say you were in town, yeah. I'd be like, yo, let's just get the friends over here. Yeah. You know, like everyone just could come drink here. Let's go buy, you know, a mm-hmm. case at a distributor mm-hmm. and I'll barbecue. <laughs> you know, like what I'm saying? 
Like you could just yeah. have a dinner or like yeah. a get together at someone's house and not have to deal with the crowds. Right. And then you right. could really catch up. Right. Like I'm thinking not even black sheep, but I was thinking in it like O'Donnell's days. No. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. That's no, that's yeah. definitely, you know, that's, it's a different time. Like, yeah, that's where I said that it was like at that age group, that was like new years. Like mm-hmm. you were going out. That was like the second, that was uh, to me, like, cause you didn't have to go to work the next day. Most people weren't working on Thanksgiving. Right. So you sure. didn't have to wake up early. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I, I say it passes. Oh okay, yeah, I'm still saying nostalgic. I'm I'm sticking to my guns here. Nostalgic. That's fine. <laughs> so Manny, That's fine. off that list, where you got? Where, go go for it. Choose one. What do you got? Or if there's one not on there, you know. Um, I'm I'm gonna ha- have to go with Black Friday just because I was just thinking about Black Friday. Uh-huh. I can't stand Black Friday. <laughs> I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I've always hated it. I've never liked it. I'm going to keep saying I don't like it in different forms and mm-hmm. just say that I don't like it. It's a stupid ploy to continue to make money. And I get why they did it back in the day with the, the Great Depression and like whatever. It was a way to get people to come out. I hate that I have to like plan it for the brewery. Shameless plugs. That's L I T H O L O G Y brewing.com. It's a whole thing. Mm. It's, it's amateur hour shopping. Yeah. Okay. It's like, what, it's like what you feel Wednesday is, the Wednesday, the Thanksgiving Eve. Yeah. This is like insane. <laughs> what, the fact that people wait online. Now with the internet, it should just be Cyber Monday all the time. Like, just yeah. give me the damn discount. You well, know what I'm saying? You could do like, a lot of that Black Friday stuff, I think, online too. I know like a bunch damn, of Damn, they got sales going that. on now. Yeah, I know. I saw. Yeah, I know. I know. And some of them are good. I get it. Like for people who need to go, okay, I'm going to like, that's when I'm going to buy the bulk of some stuff that I really need. But then there are people who just like lose their minds and just Damn. like, they might as well just like run around like with their eyes closed, just throwing stuff in a cart. Like, Bro, it, lose their mind. Me. They got the doorbuster deals. Bro, I remember I, <laughs> I used to like go to a family t- member's house. Yeah, it's <laughs> dangerous to say the doorbuster deals. There's people who get trampled and killed over this stupid shit. I remember being at someone's house for Thanksgiving and she was going to bed early because she's had to go wake up at like three o'clock in the morning to be in front of uh, online to get these deals. No! Smeal. Smeal. Like, I'm, stop what? it. I'm, no. Stop it. No. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> like, it's Nothing okay. Nothing that important. Like, you could relax. You could relax. It's okay. Allow the wine and the, the food to kind of do its no. job. And what are you going to bed early? Like, what are you doing? There's nothing to do. She Go had a whole plan. She had no. a whole plan. No. I couldn't no. do it. I mean, yeah, great. It's great deals. But like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm always also the one that waits till the last minute to get All gifts. I'm, ter- I'm terrible at it. I'm so bad. But like, I just don't see the appeal mm-hmm. of it. I don't yeah. see the appeal of it. I, I hate it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to it say fails. it fails. It fails. It fails. It's not even nostalgic. It's not even nostalgic. It no, fails. It's, it's a stupid, 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 stupid thing. Yeah, yeah. And if you're a sponsor, you know, you could put your plug right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. But if you want, uh, we are having our package uh, deals um, getting released this Monday. And we're not offering you the discount just on Black Friday. It is just a discounted package deal. So it's, you know, you buy a bunch of stuff, you get a deal on it. That's it. There you go. You know, yeah. come on Black Friday if you want to get away from the, you know, yeah. the crowds. There you go. All right. So Black Friday, goodbye. 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 Go to the Lithology Brewing Company. Enjoy some flights. <laughs> That's L-I-T-H-O-L-O-G-Y brewing.com. Shameless plug. There you go. Boom. <laughs> exactly. Hit and watch the people walk by on Main Street. All right. So, Manny, I think we're going to. Um... Don't do it. That's going to be more. I'm All right. so annoyed at Black Friday. <laughs> so <that> let's. Mic. <laughs> oh my God! All right, so why don't we put on? What do we put to the test? Is something very classic? I mean, let's put some dishes to the test. Let's put cranberry sauce to the test. Nope. I, <laughs> now wait, are you doing fresh or canned? Fuck you. Nope. Both of them <laughs> are gone. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Yo, there's only three people in my family that love cranberry <laughs> sauce, and I make fun of them every time. No, I like the canned one. Yeah. It's, just, <laughs> it's I don't understand. I mean, look, I've had it, I've eaten it, I 
you know, will not eat it ever again, probably. But and I get why my mom would have used it because she was also cooking up a storm of other things. She's like, I'm not making anything else that's fresh. Like here, can and then just slice no, it, it into pieces. It looks weird. And the fact that you slice it in that like silver dollar <laughs> pancake like that you see. <laughs> That's got me ball. It looks like oh. when you eat it, you're like, am I eating space food right now? What is this thing? It's no. gross. It's gross. Dude, I try to like it every time I'm like, because I, I like sweet things, right? Yeah. And there's like a little bit like of a tartness to it, I guess. But like, because it's cranberry, but I cannot stand cranberry sauce. I can't it, stand no. it, bro. It's like Bobby a- loves it. Bobby, my sister, love oh. cranberry. <laughs> Oh, it's like a it's like making a condiment like a main dish. Like if if someone made ketchup and like put it in like that can and made it that and then sliced silver dollar ketchup pancakes, that's like how I look at it now because it's like cranberry sauce, it's a sauce. Dude, if they put it in their own plate, it's it's in its own plate. And I get it, gravy it's in its own plate and yeah. But and you like, put gravy on top of something. Yes. The cranberry sauce, they call it sauce. It's not sauce. It's not saucing anything. It's like cheese cubes. <laughs> you should put it on crackers. And Did you like, know Here. there's a shortage on cranberry sauce? That you, you go to- no. um, Yeah, there's some um, oh, supermarkets God. in our- You know, the sl- supply chain, Dan. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you go to the supermarket, you could only get two. No! No one needs two. Well, I'll tell you this. We did a thing as a family last night Mm -hmm. where we, it's like a charity thing where you like, you Mm -hmm. make a dinner for families in need. Oh, okay. So you have to bring items. So me and Kristen had to bring two items each and whatever. So cranberry sauce is part of that dinner because they're doing a Thanksgiving dinner and you like fill up the bag. You feed 12 family members. Mm. We we got to feed 22 mm. t- families. Oh, wow. So, but cranberry sauce is on there. And my mom was like, they wouldn't let me get more than two. Mm. So, we had to go somewhere else that okayed it. So, there are stores that are breaking the law, apparently. <laughs> breaking the cranberry sauce law. Now, yeah. I and I've tried the fresh cranberry sauce and that I'm not down with either. And what do you either. think? No. It's chunky. It's it's now I'm eating cranberries and I don't know if I should be eating. Get a still eating. of that. Yeah. <laughs> I think cranberries, I don't think it's something I eat. I'll drink cranberry juice. I don't mind. I like cranberry juice, but like. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had like cranberry. No, no one's like, you know what I'm putting in this fruit salad? Cranberries. No one puts cranberries in a fruit salad because like the only thing I'm using cranberries for if they're dried cranberries and I'm putting them in oatmeal or something or a salad. And that's when it's like a sauce. But in thanks get Thanksgiving, no one is using it as a sauce. Next, Manny, when you're at Thanksgiving and someone's eating a cranberry sauce, you'd be like, what are you saucing with that? (laughs) There's no saucing at all. You're. I gotta actually watch what they eat it with. I gotta see what. Oh, I think they eat it with the stuffing. It, uh, no, I if think they, they combine gravy, it with no. the stuffing. If they put gravy on that cranberry sauce, that you have to walk I, away. From I will the table. have to remember that, and I'll let you know. Dude, I just want to. While we're with cranberry sauce, I want to throw another food in there that we're gonna throw out, and that's the green bean casserole with mushroom. Out of here. You, with the, it's gotta go. No. It's gotta that's, go. Shouldn't even be a thing. I don't even think it's a thing in my family. No, this this is it is uh, no no it no it doesn't look right. I don't think anyone should be eating condensed soup. It just you know condensed means small and like <laughs> condensed means like let's get a shortcut to the soup. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. See the thing is, is like I have to do that twice, right? I have a Thanksgiving break, uh, lunch at two, mm-hmm. and then I have to go to my family's at six thirty. So like I pretty much have the same meal. So I try to like. <laughs> I try to pick like what I know I'm gonna have at my aunt's. Uh-huh. I don't have it at my wife's family's house, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is tough because then you might I might be stuck with the cranberry. No, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I'm glad you never had to deal with the green bean casserole. But everyone listening to this podcast right now, our entire audience, don't make that anymore. And if you Stop don't make it. it, and you do, do don't start. Like uh, there, it's just a terrible thing to eat. No, thank you. It's do you eat, do you ever eat anything that's not like traditional American Thanksgiving? 
So my so mom likes to stuff, make stuffed artichokes. So mm. like in the beat, like that would be like an appetizer or something. And that's really good. Um, my mom sometimes would make like a lasagna or yes. baked ziti. Or, Dude, my mom does oh, a lasagna God. or even Kristen's family. Like there's a lasagna, which is great. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I mean, which kind of makes sense. Like, why not? There who was cares? an Italian who can- apparently discovered this country. Yeah. <laughs> so. No! <laughs> and, and then the other thing is like sometimes we would have, my mom would go crazy. I don't know why. And then make like a ham. Oh, S- waste of time. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes the ham's good. Ever, it depends. No, that, ham is funny. Like I used to love ham sandwiches, mm-hmm. but like having a full piece of ham, like. Yeah. You know, yeah. slicing it up like a like cranberry <laughs> sauce, it it's weird to me. Yeah, you know? it, it is. But yeah, I could have yeah. like thick bacon, and you just watch these balls bang into each other, banging back and forth. There you go. Yeah. Well, my you know? well, the turkey. My mom used to put bacon on the turkey. So, oh. I mean, like you know, bro. Yeah. Where are you? Are you staying in L.A. for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I'll be in L.A. So what are you going to be eating? So usually I make like this, like um, I oh, stuff. Yeah, you're a vegetarian. Sp- I'm vegan, basically. Vegan, so I do like yeah. a stuffed, um, a stuffed uh, spaghetti squash. So I stuff that and cook it. And I then like I, spaghetti squash. Oh, dude, it's great. And then I do like a mashed potatoes, but like I kind of like, I kind of like uh, fry the potatoes a little bit. So they got like little crunches in them. And then, um, and then I make my own gravy, like my own like vegan mushroom gravy. All right. Um, and then something else. I made a couple other things. Dude, I, I go overboard. I love it. Cool. No! <laughs> so we're going to say cranberry, sauce, uh, is cranberry sauce is out of here. And so yes. is the casserole. All right. So uh, real quick, football. Are you into it or not? <sighs> Here's the thing. Everyone what kind, when when you say football, you say football like you're going to go play catch or you say watching football so uh, here's the thing i think i put it down because i there's two things right one watching it right so with watching it i always thought i'm supposed to watch football on thanksgiving and it's always the same two teams and i forget who they are and it's usually a terrible game and the thing is i get bored quickly watching it now now i don't want to sit and watch football because i'm just like what am i doing yeah you know like i'm you know i don't I just don't, I'm not into watching it on Thanksgiving. Now, if they said, let's go out and play some football or throw a football around or whatever, now I'm down. I'm, I'm down, down for that. I'm down for that. Dude, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm totally down for it. I don't know why. Uh, I've done it a couple of times with the kids. But like even before that, I used to have like get in, get in touch, get together with my uh, my contractor. I used to do sons versus kids, uh, mm-hmm. sons versus fathers. And I would get invited to play on the older team. I used to get my ass kicked by these young kids, but like it was a good time. And like my family wasn't really into that, mm-hmm. but I was, uh, there was always somebody wanting to play football. So mm-hmm. like it was a good time. It's not like we ever played that much after that, but I do remember there was a time because of Thanksgiving, we got into like a bunch of stuff. Remember we yeah. used to play like tackle and we almost gave somebody a concussion because of it. Yeah. Yeah, we played in Mineola on the, on the football field, and it was a terrible idea. Because <laughs> oh, we it was were, terrible, and, because, uh, and we were like half like drunk or high, probably. And we were just—it was stupid. It was dumb. It was a bad but idea. But I would say that that definitely passes the test. Like yeah. playing catch on Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. If it's a night, if it's like a brisk day out. Yeah. See, that's, that's the brisk. problem. Is like I would love to do it, but now I got like the two o'clock lunch. Nobody plays football there. No, nope. it was all dressed nicely. Oh, and then, and I, get then that. I got and then I got the six thirty dinner. So mm-hmm. by then, it, by then it's dark. So it's like, am I going to get up early and play? Because no. now you could really play. You're not hungover. You know, if you're not going to no. go to Friendsgiving, you're not hungover. Yeah, yeah. yeah I so. mean, I, I think, I think I do remember us playing football once in the snow. It was like yes. a snowstorm that didn't yes. last too long. That that was actually like, dude, we almost. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was a bad time. <laughs> it was a bad time. Holy nostalgia. Yeah. So I would say playing football passes the nostalgia test. Yes. Watching football, I'm not going to say it doesn't pass. I'm going to say it's nostalgic because I'll watch it. And like if I'm around people who like it, it might, it'll be a good time just because we're hanging out. But most of the time, we're not paying attention to the game. No. So it's kind of cool to kind of have it as a congregating moment. But it but is like an icebreaker of like people that you don't normally talk to, at, yeah. Like with your family, and you're like, "Oh, hey, so, so how the how the Cowboys?" Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, this is like that awkward moment. There's like, there's always, and let me just say, at Thanksgiving, there's always like one or two people that just park themselves in front of the TV for the football, and then they disappear, right? And then you walk in there like, hey, and then it's like, hey, it's like, so uh, how's the game? Yeah, <laughs> but and you also know that those are like the introverts of the crowd, like or they just, they don't really want to talk to anybody, no. but yet like no. and you, know, you you feel the need to have to say like something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stop saying stuff. <laughs> I just stare. You just walk in there, sip, sip on my beer. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Good forward oh, lateral. <laughs> hey, can we uh, play psych maybe? And they're can like, what psych? psych? <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god so i say i say watching stays nostalgic but playing yeah. i would definitely pass yeah that. yeah all right manny i'm looking We're at the time it. and i think we have to do it because i know it's, we'll see what happens but people will have to throw this in here because of i've had lots of experiences with this uh manny i don't know if you've ever been to the the this but like the mesa's day thanksgiving day <laughs> Why is it that you said you have lots of experiences with this? You, so mean, this, you, you mean to tell me so, that Daniel Dissinger yeah. has been to one or more, oh, more way of more. the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Like, I thought we were going to yeah. go over, like, watching it on TV just like the football game. No, no you're saying you physically yes. have been. I will tell you, <laughs> you're about to go on a rant. So I'm just going to say one thing. I've been to the area one time when my mom invited the, the family to go and watch the balloons be filled oh, up. Oh, yeah. I've never done we that. We did a whole family thing there, freezing our asses off. Watching people blow up balloons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to let you tell your little stories. I can't believe you said yeah. many experiences, and I know one of them probably, but... there, uh, I'm... Um, if any of my cousins are listening to this, this is a family tradition to get up um, really early. Ask crack it down. Yeah. Drive to Astoria and have like a bagel breakfast or whatever, or like a meetup at my aunt's house. So far, Astoria. I'm liking it. Then we got into cars and then drove into Manhattan, parked somewhere walked through Central Park to this one spot and stood there for about about an hour or so waiting for the parade to start and then watch the parade. Now, I've done this several times throughout my childhood and then go back to Astoria for like a bigger breakfast, possibly. Now, I've okay, done this on. several times. Yeah. <laughs> I know your dad. And yeah. you're playing Halloween like crazy. Yeah. So was he planning this? Like, all right, we're waking up at like five in the morning. We got to, because like, the when whole, you say early, you're yeah. talking, like, you got to get there early. The like, whole, people gotta stand. everyone had to get up early. So like all the cousins got up early. His cousins, which are my cousins, like, you know, but like, and then my, and then their kids. So you're talking about everyone that, and these are, these are the kids that we went to the beach with every summer, every weekend. So it's just a, it's like 20, 20 of us or something. So we're all on a sidewalk waiting for this parade. And yeah, you had to wake up early. You had to get in a the car, then get in another car and then walk through Central Park. And then you're at the, you know, you're at the parade and then you watch the parade. And I did this so many times. I remember standing on garbage cans, which is weird because did they t that means they turned them on the, they turned them over. I'm wondering where the garbage went. Doesn't and then, matter. And then it's Thanksgiving. It disappears. And then it rained one year. Okay. Um, and we stood in the rain. Mm. It was always freezing cold. When that we should have been the last well. year. And then, and then when we got older, the last time I went, um, my dad didn't come. He's like, I'm done with this. Um, and Your I went dad out. chose not to come. Yeah, he's like, I'm finished. And okay. it was we were older, and I went, and we were. Um, had went out the night before you got you and I and everyone that we know and me and my two cousins or so were horribly hungover and just like trudging through it. And then oh. at some point we started like yelling into the crowd, into the parade. So like <laughs> a college, a college marching band would come by and we just start shouting names, like random names to see who turned around and be like, you know, Mark, Hey, yeah. And then, 
<laughs> and so or like when the c-list like singers and groups would come by we just scream at them like who are you who oh my are God. And so, so like you became like a heckler of a parade yeah ruining all the kids experiences yeah <laughs> wow and then i haven't been back so and i don't think i'll Were ever you ever back. in the, the the marching band that went to that that okay. parade so i was in the marching band in mini old marching band the darkest yeah. time of my life and then yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go to the Thanksgiving Day Parade. We weren't good enough for that. We were relegated to what was once called the Columbus Day Parade. <laughs> and we marched in that. Oh, and OK. And I'll never forget this moment where I'm standing next to. Do you remember Ryan? Ryan. Yes. <laughs> OK. I'm standing next to Ryan. <laughs> He's a friend of ours. He was a kid we went to high school with. Hilarious dude. I mean, very quietly hilarious. Like, he was one of those dudes that you didn't know was yes. funny, but then if you got to know him, he was like the funniest person yeah. ever. So I remember standing next to him and I look over to him and dude. he played saxophone. And dude, he didn't have a mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> oh no wait, he had a mouthpiece he didn't have a reed he wasn't playing he was just holding it he was just, he holding, was just it. holding it and walking not even marching just like mm -hmm, and he was just like and and, <laughs> and Mr. <laughs> so whatever the, the other band people would come over and be like left right left start screaming oh my god and he's god. like whatever and oh, I wish I had I his attitude because like he knew he knew none of this matters yeah it doesn't he matter he knew then he didn't care he said like it is what it is like <laughs> that's a dangerous person <laughs> and that's a nostalgia test tangent so uh, yeah I oh, think God. parades and I, I might get hatred for this I hate parades Man. I think parades are a waste of time. I don't know what they're for. Why did a parade <laughs> happen? What are you doing in a parade? You're, it's like we now have Instagram and Ma mm -hmm. Facebook and all that stuff. Like, yeah. you, it was an advertisement to show off. It was a showcase of things. And like, I remember Mitch Hesburgh's joke. Like, if you want a, a parade to go faster, <laughs> walk the opposite way. Like, walk towards the end. You'll fast forward a parade. Like, dude, but there's parades that happen in like the village and stuff. Village parades are funny because mm -hmm. anyone who would want to see the village parade is usually in the parade. <laughs> so there's usually like five people watching because everybody's wait, in the in freaking farm, parade. In Farmingdale? In Farmingdale. Oh yeah. my God. So, but like, I just find it, I find parades unnecessary. I think I, yeah. they're ridiculous. I don't get, like, my sister loves it. She like has it on. Like, uh, my, she's like, what are you doing? And she calls me up. Watching the parade. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I don't have it on. It's not on. I have other things going on. No. Well, and maybe yeah. you call me a grouch or whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. And I, and my sister's gone a couple of times with her kids and stuff. And I, she's like, oh, do you want to go? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, now I'll say this. On Thanksgiving, I'll probably watch the parade. And the reason really? is, and it's only because I guess like there's something oddly nostalgic. I guess nostalgic. There's some it's moment nostalgic in there. to you. And you're, and you're thinking about the times you went with your cousins when it was fun and it was, that's but what it, it is. It's also now I could watch it in my apartment and it's warm. Yeah. And like I can like make a br I can make food. I can sit in front and be like, who is this person? Why why are they singing? Oh, and let's watch people lip sync very badly and yeah. then watch the people that have to talk about the parade, like do that. I mean, I don't know. Do we know someone that does Yes, the Lauren Scala. <laughs> there we go. Lauren Shout Scala out to Lauren does Scala. the parade. So, yeah, man, it's great for her. Like she has a whole gig where she's talking about what's going on in the parade. I, I would be down with that. I'm getting paid yeah. to sit and watch yeah. and talk about these people oh. instead of freezing my butt off on on a on a garbage pail they that just got turned upside down <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, I know. You know, I know. the sanitation department didn't like clean oh, that up can i Come tell on. you they got the biggest applause all the time so in the parade yeah. what you don't see like on television most of the time is the sanitation workers because they're walking behind horses and stuff like that and things are just pooping everywhere during yeah. the parade so the people who get the biggest applause are the sanitation workers they come by and everyone's like yeah yeah, and they it's so it. funny, they and it. yeah, everyone else like the clowns are like, "Hey!" and everyone's like, "What?" I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the dude picking up garbage? But hey, yeah, you know if you know 
if you guys need another uh, couple co-hosts to like sit there and commentate on the uh, parade. Oh, I'll, I'll be the commentator. If you told me that we were doing a live episode from the parade, I'll go. And Dude, what I will ruin you? people's oh my God. childhood memory. Dude, there might be a live episode, everybody. This might be this might be the planning right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna and and our our episode is gonna be walking. We're gonna be walking towards the end. We'll make it a four hour parade go like an hour. Dude, but that's the funny thing on TV. All they do is really they show a little bit of the people walking, then they go, All right, let's go to the end of the parade route so we can watch these people perform. I'm like, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a whole performance after. I'm like, so like, it's really funny to think like there's a parade, but then they're walking towards a staging area where mm-hmm. everyone then performs. Yeah. That's a lot Dude, of work. It's a lot of work. Remember there was like the homecoming parade. <laughs> oh, like that's what I'm saying. Like people went, they came in droves. Like people were excited about the mini old homecoming parade. I brought my Jeep as a senior. People were cl- like cheering for us. What are you doing? You had nothing else to do. Dude, you got this, nothing is, else this, to do. this kind of segues into a, a topic that's way off. And I think we talked about this before on the podcast is like block parties. This is the same thing that I have about block parties where like I oh, that's just, don't just an get excuse it. to dr- drink. Yeah. That's like, all this is. But it's, you, hey, let's get together. Um, let's get the whole block together so we could drink in front of our house instead of the back of the house. <laughs> and then everybody gets to kind of know each other. But like you're just inviting your friends to stay yeah. in it. In front of your house, and so you brought uh, you brought your backyard table and barbecue to the front. Yeah. yeah, and you're just like, oh, look, no cars can come down this block. Ooh. Oh, people lose their mind over it. <laughs> people lose their mind. It's almost kind of like Halloween, oh. but like it's just block parties are hilarious. Yeah, it's just They're like hilarious. Who can get the drunkest in front of their house and make a? And then just kids, kids love it because they're just rolling around and doing everything on the street. Mm-hmm. And then the parents are just like, "Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah, oh, and I only see you when you're cutting your lawn. Oh, now you're over here. You got friends. Oh, you guys are hanging out. You're drinking. Oh, you know what I got? I got whiskey. I got this whiskey that I got four years ago that somebody gave me. Yo, well, let's bring it over. Oh, oh, this guy's out. Oh, I got cigars. You want to sit down and have some cigars? Oh, oh. Don't, oh. don't don't start oh, that. Who pays the, then, who's paying the DJ? Who's paying the DJ? <laughs> hey, hey, this guy. Look at this guy. This guy let's right go, here. Look at this let's guy. Let's go bobbing for apples. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more. The, the, we're not even doing this on this test, but we're going to say right now that it never passes. <laughs> bobbing for apples is gross. Yo, man, it's a good time. Yeah? Yeah, bobbing yeah. your head in a bunch of spit? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a way to get your immune system up. <laughs> oh, hey, is that the Macarena? Let's go dance the Macarena. <laughs> oh, let's do <laughs> Let's do the twist. Uh, Tootsie roll over here. And then there's the holdouts at the block party when like they finally open the street up again, but people are still sitting there and be like, I'm not going anywhere. Remember Mike's house? We used to go- Get the citronella candles. That was the funny thing about block parties. It was always like people knew about the good block parties. Like what made it good? Like what? why was your block better than everybody else's? Dude, it was I, like, I, oh, I that block know. is fun. They get a DJ. They stay late. And then, like, I remember we went to Mike's house, and his dad had a, his whole crew out. out look like the Last Supper was all set up. Ah! <laughs> they were the last ones to leave. They were just like, cars are coming by. They're still where a car normally parks. They're just like, oh, oh it's a great night. <laughs> what are they doing? And we're chilling somewhere. I don't know, doing something weird and illegal, probably. Yeah. But like, dude, oh they my were doing God. weird and illegal at that point too. Once the barricades come off, Dan, if you're still sitting in front of your house on the street drinking and smoking a cigar, that's actually illegal. <laughs> that has to go onto the lo- the lawn. <laughs> Holy nostalgia. Oh my God. Uh, Permit is over. It's no uh, longer allowed. So the parade, does it pass a nostalgia test? I think at th- the parade, uh, I don't know, a little bit. No, <laughs> no, not for me. I'm going to stay grouchy on this one. All right, no. stay grouchy. I'm gonna no, say no like, parade passes. There's not one parade that I think passes the test. I'm going to say that one parade that doesn't pass. Well, I think the I think. Thanksgiving Day Parade is nostalgic for me. It doesn't pass. It's nostalgic. I'll throw it on TV and enjoy it because it's funny and like I'm sitting down on a couch now instead of standing on a garbage can. Um, oh, you should do a live that day and just like well, commentate. Also, the best part oh. is there's a bathroom in my apartment. If you're in Central, if you're on the street in front of Central Park, guess what? Like you're you're it's over. So what do you say about going to the parade? Is that pass? No, 
No, okay. you have to wake up too early. It's cold, and then you're standing in a crowd, and you know. But and, I can't believe you did it more than once. Like I could, well, I when could you're see a kid, that you don't have a choice, dude. No, I know that, but your dad did it more. Well, your dad likes to do stuff like that. He likes to do stuff with his cousins. They all like to do things, and then they realize, what are we doing? Oof. It's like cutting down a tree. Like I used to do that. They used to bring us in somewhere to cut a tree down for Christmas, hmm. um, or you know things like all that. All this is like you know. TV, this is how it's supposed to be holiday kind of like list. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I say that the parade is nostalgic. I say it's the only parade. The uh, The other parades, I don't understand. I don't like St. Patrick's Day. What What is that? It's just like that, that needs to be outlawed. <laughs> That's just another. A lot of these are excuses to drink with the family. <laughs> Why do people? If you're an adult, you don't need an excuse to drink. You could do it. You're an adult. You could do whatever you want. Like a block party is just an excuse. Yeah, but you've been doing it all summer in a block party, except in your backyard. (laughs) (laughs) I say that people should just start bringing their backyard to their front yard and just start drinking like right there because you can't get in trouble. Well, here in LA. You're in your private property. So it's funny in LA, like because a lot of some of these houses don't have backyards, they have front yards and it's closed in like with with bushes. People actually. They'll hang out in the front yard. So it's really interesting to kind of do that. But I think on Long Island, it would be hilarious if people just started doing it all the time because there's no fences and they just started partying on their front yards. I mean, you kind of do it with like, you know, the inflatable slides and stuff that they have now that people yeah. like set up. Like I've seen that happen, but that's like few and far between. But imagine like that's all that people were doing. Like Dude, people would be like, see. what the hell is going on? I want. It would eventually something. spill over to the street. Yeah, Mike, if you're if you're listening to this, just start partying in the front of your house, bro. Imagine I bring out like a DJ table because I DJed at, at Dave at Dave's uh, block party. Me and Dave brought out a five C, five disc CD changer, and I was DJing that block party where Ten Cents played. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we gotta do a whole video block party too. I had a lot of block parties growing up. But well, you also it. worked them. So yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. Dude, the yeah. one the one I was by me, like I lived in Wilson Park and we there was Temple Street. But Temple Street never had a block party. We were only invited we were invited to the Exeter block yes, party. Yes. Exeter was one of the is that where uh, uh Aaron and Owen lived? They lived on uh the block over on Exeter, but they lived a block over. Dude, that one was known as a really good one. Yeah, they everyone lived over there. Aaron, Owen, Kristen, yeah. and then there was a bunch of people on that block. Mike <laughs> lived on my block. All this yeah. is getting bleeped out of the podcast. <laughs> I I uh, actually <laughs> ki- first kiss I had my well, my wife is uh, down the block from you. Holy nostalgia! Yeah, that's right. At a party, yeah. I at a party at my house, party you were throwing, which then duck ruined the deck. No. <laughs> Uh, yes, and broke that chair. A bunch of random people showed up at that at that party. Let me just say, uh, I got in trouble for that party, not just because of the deck. They found that out because I told them. But two, some degenerate that was over left beer bottles and cans in my basement, thinking it was fun to hide them behind the heating. Like I the, wonder who that deck. might be. <laughs> Same guy that got a concussion <laughs> playing football. And that's a nostalgia test tangent. All right, guys. Oh, well, right, that's so it. Thanks for sticking through this. This season's getting crazy, Dan. Yeah, this season's just getting patchwork together. But I, th- yeah. <laughs> but I, I do think- have to. Do, we do have to do a nostalgia now test of um, Rocky Four remastered. Yeah, director's a, cut. We're definitely doing that. That's coming. Absolutely. Uh, maybe it's out now. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, everybody. We would love to hear all about your Thanksgiving memories. Email us uh, at the nostalgia test at gmail.com. Put them in the comments of this episode. Like, subscribe, and follow or subscribe and or follow the podcast and share it with everyone you know. Let's make this one of the more popular episodes. Let's make it the most popular episode. You know, how about that? You know, Rocky Four up there is like one of our most popular. Let's get it more it popular than that. Let's get it more popular in the Halloween episode. Well, do you think turkey passes the test? That's the last I mean, one. I'm Dan. not vegan. I'm vegan now, but I would say yes. I like I, if, if I was thinking about turkey as a thing on Thanksgiving when I used to eat it, I love turkey. Turkey's good. Yeah. And everyone's got to stop with the white meat. <laughs> I mean, dark meat's like amazing. Doc, why even? It's a waste. I tell my, my aunt, like, don't even. Yeah, it's just your eating paper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> till ne- till next time. Till next time, everybody. Blah, 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 blah. We'll see you guys. Good old for the packages. <laughs> okay.
Black Friday. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter at Nostalgia Test and on Instagram at The Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on The Nostalgia Test. <laughs>